Hello, uh, this is David Berneda from Stima Software. Uh, welcome and thanks for watching. Uh, we would like to show you a new feature in the pro version of the Char Component Library. This new feature is called T Data Import. It's a non visual component for both BCL and FireMonkey applications for desktop and also mobile applications. And this component, mm, what it does is accepts any kind of data source from plain text files to any data set or XML or JSON tree structures and then tries to guess the best in display the best charting style this data can can be displayed i mean uh, it first tries to uh, discover how many di um, dimensions dimensions has the data or maybe how many columns or how many rows or how many levels and then uh, also analyzes which kind of data are which fields can be suitable to chart for instance numeric fields or text files and it does everything with just one line of code or one click at design time. Uh, we will show now a project as an example. Thanks. Hello, my name is Mark Moyman of, of Stima Software. Uh, I'm going to show you a little of the the new data import features of uh, uh, included with the latest version of T-Chart Pro. And uh, along with David Baneda, perhaps we can answer any any questions that you might have about it afterwards. Um, working here in uh, Red Studio XC7 and uh, opened an empty form and um, I'm putting a, a t-chart uh, t-commander component on the form and we'll place uh, a chart into the center of that form and I'll just bring it out to, to fill it. Uh, we'll open the t-chart editor, double click on the form, on the on the chart sorry, and uh, we can go to themes and I'll set up a couple of visual features uh, picking a, a theme called facts, uh, a palette and uh, applying 2D to the chart. We apply it and that, that look will, um, will lend itself to, to the chart that we build. Um, okay so we're here to show you the, the import feature uh, which is the, the tab, tab selected at the, uh, the left uh, bottom of the, of the option list and you'll see that we can import a file or a URL. So we'll go with URL. Uh, we chose um, a data source for, for this demo from from Quandle. There's some nice uh, there's some nice data samples on on there to show some nice charts. And this is major US air carriers on time performance. So we'll paste that URL in the the, the link to the CSV file and we'll import that to the, the editor and that shows us a preview of the data which we can now import to the chart. Um, that's created a chart with, uh, you'll see six series types related to flight information and uh, two axes on the left and the right. Uh, it's divided the, the data into two axes because uh, it's taken a best guess based on the type of information in the chart some of the series t t information will have been insignificant with re relation to the rest of it and for it to, having mean, uh, to have meaning on the chart it's created a, an axis um, for its own space. Um, I'll, I can speak a little bit more about axes later and um, we'll add a title to the chart as no title came with it. You'll notice that uh, T-Chart will pick up on text that, that are included with the data and we'll offer options on it. It's the left axis, for example, is called uh, on time arrivals. So we'll add the um, uh, we'll add the title text, and I'll just uh, uh, change a couple of uh, features of it, the size to make it more readable, and I'll move it over to the to the right of the chart. Okay. Well, we can run this. And you'll see that it creates um, a chart um, as we saw in design time. Uh, I'll move that over here and we can open the, the runtime editor and we can continue to change some features. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the editor and a little bit of the features that, uh, that we can change. So for example, uh, series type. I could change a line series to um, any other series type that has a similar set of value lists uh, XY data to XY data or XYZ to XYZ and so forth so we'll, we'll choose an area format 
uh, for that series and you'll see that's changed the uh, the series in the chart um, going back to the what, uh, what I mentioned about the axes we could actually give the the axes that are related to the right axis their own space um, by changing the the position of the um, of, of the axis by restricting the the right axis to just a portion of the chart and then the left axis we could do the same we can give it a maximum location on the chart which is what we've done here and I'll just change one more feature of the right axis to make it have, have to, so it has more in common with the left axis no no pen for it that gives us a, a working chart which um, is more or less the, the objective of the uh, of this demo just to show that the uh, that most reasonably formatted data can be imported directly to T-Chart uh, using the new class, the new data form in import class uh, format. We can add uh, um, some other features to the chart just while I'm here and by opening the editor I could go to the tools palette and we could add a, um, a scroll pager tool for example to show that uh, we could scroll the data using a, an external scroller. Uh, that sort of added the scroller to the right of the chart. Um, if we now relate it to any one of the series that uses the x-axis and uh, we bring the, the size of the, the scroller down, I can close the editor and you'll see that the, the scroller will move the, the data and allow us to view subset of, subsets of it. And that's, uh, that was very easy to set up. For the second part of the demo, I'd like to show you um, a coded example using data import. Um, opened another chart uh, on a form with a, a commander bar. Uh, you'll notice at the center of the chart is the, the data import component, uh, which is what we'll use to, to bring the data into the chart. So uh, if we move over to the code, and um, move down the unit a, a little to the implementation section um, you'll see a, a record type has been defined here T person uh, with name birth height uh, and children and then uh, brought together in a, a T list to uh, to make T persons list which will form the basis of the data source for uh, for the chart um, all of the code is contained here in this one uh, button procedure uh, creating the person's list and, and here we've manu manually uh, written out two, two records to chart Mike and Laura uh, which are added to persons and then all of the work has been done on the last line of the, the method uh, data import one import uh, bringing in records from uh, persons and if we run that T-chart will uh, take the best available data to chart and running the button creates this chart for us with uh, two bars uh, plotting the, the heights of, of Mike and Laura. Um, we hope this might be useful um, uh, to you when you, you come to import data from sources that are perhaps not, not known to you. And I'll, I'll just show you some of the options of, uh, of the data types that T-Chart can, uh, can actually import in this way. Uh, and you see the list is quite extensive so <coughs> T-Chart will try to uh, find the data in, these, uh, in this type of data source and chart it for you. Okay well thanks very much for listening to the presentation. Um, if you'd like some more information about T-Chart's data import class and uh, how to work with it, uh, there's a link here on this page to the T-Chart import.pdf file which has got some useful uh, details of how to work with it. Thanks again. A question from Alf here. Uh, could live bindings be used with T-Chart and or T-Tree? Um, yes, live bindings can work with T-Chart. Mm, I, ha I think not with T3 yet because, well, maybe because we just, uh, we have not spent time with that. But with Teacher, you can use live bindings. In, in previous XE versions, there was also 
there was that automatic option on, on the right click menu that, that would bind mm, well you, you see now that you have bind vis visual, visually but you could do also automatically but there are some some bi life binding demos mm, on the fire monkey demo that comes with a teacher pro version or teacher pro trial there are three or four demos that show you how how to do that you can bind visually linking and also manually because there's one particular thing for teacher series that it cannot be done automatically with live bindings it's uh, you want to link one series with two fields and and that's not not possible you have to do it manually by adding expressions on the live bindings editor by hand which is very very easy uh, and the demo show that Okay, well, I think with that, uh, we'll start winding down. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we close the webinar down for today? No, thank you very much. Uh, we just wanted to really show people the, the, uh, the possibilities with data import and maybe, um, I don't know, inspire people to have a go. It'd be nice to get some feedback if people do get the chance to, to try it out. Yeah, go try it out. It looks like a great... I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out myself. Um, Yes, uh, Pat says, interesting package. Thank you for the insight. Indeed, thank you very much for coming out and, and sharing with us today. Uh, we had one more quick question here from uh, Ian, I believe. Um, would I be able to use the T-chart for real-time graphs, like download speed graphs? That's a great question. Uh, yes, we have some demos. We have done many demos and some articles at our website about real-time charting. Well, it's not 100% real-time, but it's very close. It's maybe 99.9 .9 because uh, it, it all depends on your GPU and CPU speed and also um, um, which kind of series style you use for the chart. We have one series style called T fast line. This one is, is the fastest thing possible because even there are some properties that can handle maybe 1 million or 2 million points per second by 60 if you are animating 60 frames per second. So this is maybe 60 million points. Uh, displayed because the the complete array of the da of data points both the x and y values are sent to the GPU and then mm, e more or less everything is calculated there so I can say yes if you have a modern hardware you can use teacher for millions of points per second another problem is that you you need to keep removing uh, the previous points otherwise your your series or your collection of data will grow and grow very much and then everything will maybe slow down a little bit because maybe you have or maybe you will get an out of memory if you do that but for typical oscilloscope style charts or or cardio beat charts or things like that it's it's very perfect oh that's very really cool stuff uh, so let's see here uh, question from Antonio uh, is it available and working for XE3 yes we provide uh, Teacher compatible starting from Delphi 5, but maybe Del Del Delphi 7 is the, is the first version that we support completely. And then everything is exactly the same. We don't make very much use in the code for things that came after Delphi 7, like subtypes or generics or operator overloads or things like that. So the same full source code is compatible for every Delphi ID and also BCL and FireMonkey and all platforms. Paul says a uh, great presentation. He is a su subscriber of Pro and is looking forward to downloading the uh, latest version and giving it a go. Um, let's see here. We have uh, another comment from Alf. I would uh, believe showing Teachery would be a good idea. May seem uh, not to know, uh, many seem not to know about it. It's very fast. Great, and uh, Ian uh, has a follow-up question. Um, yeah, no, just uh, no. We've we've heard the comments on on Tea Tree, and we'll uh, we'll we'll look at it. We'll work something in for the future. Great. Um, as a follow up to uh, the real time uh, example, he was wondering if um, where he can find the demos. And I'd like to just say uh, we will pu uh, put this information as well into the blog post. Do you know where we uh, find the uh, the demos yeah. online? We we make, we we make demos available on the on the Steam web um, in reasonably uh, intuitive path to it is to follow the uh, the downloads button on Steam or Web and it will take you to uh, to trial versions and to demos. Um, if we have the specific demo that he 
or, or anyone might be interested in, then uh, all well and good. If not, if they just let us know, we'll probably have something that we can send them anyway that maybe is, hasn't been uh, put up publicly. And that would just be a steema.com? Yes, steema.com. That's right. Okay, great. Well, I think with that, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, close down the webinar. I really appreciate your time coming out here and sharing that information. I also appreciate everybody else coming out to the webinar as well. Hope you have a great day, and um, if you have any further questions, feel free to find the blog post, and you can comment there. Great. Thanks very much. Oh, thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day. Bye. Okay. Bye now. Bye-bye.